Yo, what's going on everybody? It's our Pod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. It looks like we've gotten the ultimate green light for NBA 2K14. It's time for me to start dropping this news. I'm not going to stop until I go over every single thing I saw that NBA 2K14 team up. Now, this is probably the first video of many, and your sub boxes are probably going to go crazy for the next few days. But I'm going to try to get out like four videos a night. But the first thing I want to talk about is the new feature the pro stick now a lot of people may be trying to figure out what the pro stick means it's basically an entire redefined dribbling system now i'm gonna give you guys all the ins and outs i'm basically going to be reading to you like i'm reading off a page a piece of paper because i wrote down everything i saw at 2k now this year the new dribble setup which is called the pro stick enables you to do dribble moves by flicking the right stick and shooting by holding the right stick towards the rim without holding any other button as a modifier like last year now last year with nba 2k 13 you had to hold lt if you wanted to shoot a lot of people just ended up using x because it was too you know too much it was just way too much now from my experience of playing NBA 2K14 and using this new dribble setup, it helps the flow of all of your movements. You are able to do a spin move and go into a shot instead of double tapping a button which turns you into a canned animation that can't be stopped. So if you're going to go in for a spin layup or a spin dunk, you actually have to rotate the stick and still spin it and then hold it in order to get that spin dunk off. So ain't going to be no more cheesy LeBrons going through the lane trying to spin dunk on everybody and their mom. It's not like that anymore. Trust me, guys. Now, since there are new animations with the dribbling system, it has been redefined. So it's going to take users another year of learning and getting used to the system but once you guys are used to the system you will see that it is better to have this instead of holding another button to shoot so for all those people out there that's going to say oh this is wag i gotta learn how to do this and do that all over again trust me it's not too different from last year all it is is you can ball up lt or l2 for ps3 and throw it out the window you don't need it anymore to shoot all you have to do is actually hold the right stick in any position and you will shoot the ball so for all you guys out there that like to hold the button and do all of your spin moves and all of that it ain't gonna be like that this year you might want to just tap it just a little bit give it a little spin a little flick of the flick of the thumb and get it moving now a new dribbling tactic with the hesitation is called escape and quick the first one is to create space you have to hold rt and flick the right stick to the ball hand to do a quick hesitation all you have to do is flick the right stick into the ball hand and the guy will just do a quick little hesitation now you guys can visually you know think about it with escaping you basically do a hesitation and create space which means either your guy a backup he'll move to the side stuff like that it's basically a strong hesitation now the half spin and full spin have been changed to fully spin you have to spin it around a guy's back if you want to do a half spin you have to rotate the stick towards the rim which means in front of the player you know so if you want to do a spin move you want to do a spin move behind his back go around his back if you want to do a half spin go around you know his stomach that is it's that simple that's the best way that i can tell you now with the pro stick you guys you're going to be able to do a lot of different moves this year and there are a lot of new animations in this game as well so you know you guy just standing there sitting there dribbling he's not just dribbling the ball waving his hand like he just don't care now they've added new animations guys do different things different players and with the new moves the yo-yo is crazy I'm, I'm just gonna put it to you like that guys the yo-yo I got a yo-yo. You you guys already know how I get down in blacktop. This right here was some type of feature that I've been waiting for because, you know, trying to dribble and then you got a whole LT to shoot, it always used to delay you by a second. And you always used to think, yo, this shot going to be milk. But then somebody come over and block it or it be off the time and ain't right. 
So right here, just using the right stick and nothing else is love. Now, of course, you know, with the left stick, you guys are still going to be able to move your player. And even with the left stick, you're able to still do a few moves, but not the core moves that you want to do, such as hesitations, you know, full spins and stuff like that. You're probably going to be able to do a little couple behind the backs and all of that. But when it comes to doing them core moves and them crossovers and them spins, you want to be able to use the right stick. Now, I probably didn't tell you guys this in the beginning, but when you're holding the right stick, those hop steps and, and spin moves and all of that stuff, all of that stuff is momentum shots now. So instead of tapping B or tapping, double tapping B and all of that, you can only use the right stick. So if you want to do a momentum shot to the right, guess what you got to do? You got to hold the right stick to the right and have your guy on a nice little feed. If you want to do a hop step, it's a little different. You might have to hit the right stick the other way. You know what I'm saying? Give him that little hop. It's a lot different, guys. Also, the the right trigger, whoo, adding a little bit of stamina to that is crazy. One thing I do want to tell you guys is with the right stick, dunking is totally redefined now. It, it's crazy because when I saw it, I thought it was I thought it was trash truck juice. Now, all you have to do is actually put the analog towards the rim and the player will do whatever dunk is needed for that situation so for all those guys that don't know how to you know do the spin dunks or you know don't know how to pull back on the trigger in a certain situation whatever camera angle you're on you can just push the analog towards the rim and if he does a tomahawk a windmill a reverse dunk, he could do any sets of those dunks i didn't see anybody do a spin dunk by just holding the analog towards the rim but i did see other dunks that normally you would have to you know pull the trigger in different directions but i've been i've held you guys up for too long i'm about to go work on the next video right now and this is ikc signing out i hope this was informative and i'm out y'all peace year this is siri Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC click subscribe. Oh and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.